Warden Stroud. How must it feel to devote your whole life to the Wardens, only to watch them fall? Or worse, to know that you were responsible for their destruction? When the next blight comes, will they curse your name? With the Maker's blessing, we'll end this wretched peace. Wouldn't it suck if time passed differently in the Fade and we get back and everybody's like, dude, it's been five years. Oh no, shut up. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. Colin has moved on. He's like, no, he's god dating, damn it! He's dating some horrible bitch. She's like really, truly awful. Yeah. Like if she was with, he was with somebody who was like nice and stuff, you'd be like kind of like okay but with it, but she's like a controlling bitch and you're like, this is the worst. You're like, no, how, what? No, go back, man. Get back with me. What's this? Just All right. to say you did it. So this statue's like everywhere, so I'm trying to think it must be important. Doesn't it look like its face is melting off? Probably. It's like, Whoa! It's like The Scream by uh, Edward Munch. Do you think you can fight me? I am your every fear come. Life. I am the veiled hand of Corypheus himself. The demon army you fear, I command it. They are bound all through me. Ah, so if we banish you, we banish the demons. Thank you. Every fear come to life. Gorg! <laughs> happens when you fight with a smart spirit? God damn it! This place is pretty cool looking though. Oh, you know what else it looks like? It looks like the planet on Pitch Black. The oh one, yeah! The one where they have to outrun the sun because it like torches everybody to death. Even, like it yeah, doesn't make any much thing. sense, but you, you're just well, like, hey, yeah, sure. It makes Denied perfect it sense. <laughs> that planet well, is very America. close to the sun. <laughs> and then it flash freezes as soon as the sun goes away. So either way, you're good. Yeah, I don't know about that part, but. <laughs> I well, think it's it, kind of like the planet from Shadow Broker DLC. I, you know what? I think it's because it doesn't have water, so it doesn't. Well, what? You can't regulate the temperature if you don't have water. Well, even so, you wouldn't be able to survive on it. But what about the planet from the Shadow Broker DLC, where they the oceans flash froze and boiled, and they had to constantly move at dusk all the time? Oh yeah, I don't know about that. I wonder if that just has to do with like gases in the air. I, I really don't know. Science. Because, science. Because science. Yep. I'm sure Liara knows the answer. But yeah, this totally reminds me of that planet where they just go running around and... Because it's got the spiky rocks everywhere. Giving everyone a good look. Whoa, did you see what's over there? On top of the rock. Hold on, move to the right a little bit. It's just a desk. Someone's probably studying over there. Yeah. Just hanging out. What is it? Why? <laughs> Why? So random. because everybody kept being like in my way. <laughs> everybody kept like wandering over like, what are you doing? What's huh? going on? What's going on over here? Have you ever thought about the number of spiders that you eat in your sleep? Stacey, that's a completely made up statistic. You don't eat any. Yes, you do. No, you don't. You yep. don't eat, eat seven spiders a year. No, I didn't say that. But you there's gotta be any. some. 
I'm I'm not that upset about it. I know you hate the idea of eating bugs, but it's, I'm not really that upset about. What Hogs if it lays eggs in your cheek? In this place. <laughs> Urban Legends brought to you by Stacy. <laughs> That's what happens. It crawls up your nose and lays eggs in your sinus cavity. That's not what happens. I know. If it did, your immune system would fight it. That would be so gross, though. I think that hap that was from a... Uh, oh, there was a book. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. the scary stories. It's scary stories to tell in the dark or something like that. Yeah. And they had like, those like crazy... Really creepy pictures. The water... Like watercolor like but black and white watercolor yeah ones. oh my god those are so freaky you know that they changed the pictures in that book and they're a lot less scary and everyone was like why are they less scary and they're like because it's for kids because it's terrified children <laughs> i mean it is called scary stories to tell in the dark but oh these are everyone's fears blackwall he's afraid of himself cold, cold despair fear. Solus dying alone. Well, oh then, no! Then like start hanging out with people. Jerk. Sarah. Sarah. The nothing. The nothing or nothing. The nothing. Temptation. Cassandra helplessness. Varric. Became his parents. Became his parents. Maybe it means Sarah like the nothing like not making a difference or something. Maybe. I don't know. Is this our fear? Vial of dark spawn blood. Uh, what were those ones in the corner? Iron, Iron Bowl. Madness. madness. Like, probably going insane. What bothers me is not everybody's in here. Excuse me, Bioware. There should be more companions in the graveyard and the fate. Thanks I want to know lot. what Cullen's, like, despair is. I kind of want to see more of those envy demons. Why? Just because, like, I know what they look like, but I haven't actually seen them in the game yet. What do they look like? What? Oh, there was one... They're the ones with their, like, legs bent over backwards over their heads type thing. Oh. There was one, I think it was a despair demon or something, and I was fighting him. It, the ones with the cloaks on... Oh, okay. I was fighting them, and then, like, I paused it for a second, like, with the... Or, like, I had seen... I was fighting up real close, and I saw what their face looked like. They have no face. Ugh. It's just, like, a wrinkly skin flap. The, um, the envy demons have, like, a giant, like, red flesh hole. Yeah, I saw teeth. it. It looks like some sort of, like, anus penis. You know what I'm trying to say? With an anus with teeth. An anus with teeth, but its body is like a penis with like, it was gross. <laughs> it was like flopping Ew. around. Ew, penises are weird. Penises are gross. I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, like, still, you just wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't want to be like a giant penis creature. Well, how do you know? I'm sorry to any giant penis creatures who, who are here. Sorry listening. to any of our subscribers who are giant penis creatures. You wouldn't want to be a giant giant vagina creature. Sorry to any listeners who are giant vagina creatures. Oh god, we're just offending everybody today. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Oh, those things are so big. Blah, ha, ha. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, guys, I'm such a badass with my bow. Tweep, 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 tweep. Cassandra's like, yeah, all right, I should have been the Inquisitor. Bye. I think that's the point, though. I think demons are just supposed to be, like, disgusting and gross and weird. Well, yeah, but it was just weirding me out. Well, unless you're a lust demon. Then she's like, what's up? That's very true. Desire demon. Desire demon. Subcategory. Desire you must lust. get through the rift, Inquisitor. Get through, and then slam it closed with all your strength. That will banish the army of demons and exile this cursed creature to the farthest reaches of the Fade. She's like, she looks like Tinkerbell. The rift. We're almost there. We're not. What? Did you see that? Yep. Yet, 
stay alert. Oh my god. Yep. Uh, oh. So, uh. So that was the thing we saw. Look, blood coming out of like these crazy. Oh god. You ready? Yep. Let's do this. All those eyes! If you would, please tell Liliana. I am sorry. I failed you, you too. Nothing. What? Already someone's dead? Hold on a second, guys. Oh, hold up. Solus! Get your shit together. He's like, oh man, thanks, you're so awesome. Thanks, you're so cool. If you want to, like, hang out later, you know, go, like, explore the fate together. Totally Not down. really. I mean, we're in the middle of something serious right now, so. Oh, uh, sorry, man. I'm just, you know, we're in the fade. It gets me all excited. He's <laughs> <laughs> got, like, a total fade boner right now. It's like, oh, we're fighting spirits. This is so fucking cool. Like, Solus, we're dying right now. <laughs> Bad news for you. There's six of us. Yeah, nerd. Well, one of them is kind of, like, stunned a little, but, you know. What Not are you going to well. do about that? Oh, wait, no, he's okay now. No, wait, no, he's not. <laughs> I grow fat on your fear. I don't know, you seem okay. I mean, I mean you seem like not so bad, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't need... I mean, you still look good, just, you know. Yeah, it's, you know, you just gotta choose the right thing for your figure, that's all. Yeah, maybe not eat so many fears, like, just take a need, break on this flight. Just not on yourself, it's like, we respect demons of all sizes. <laughs> Good guys, how do you think I look? I feel like I've been eating a lot of fear I feel lately. like I've been eating a lot of fear lately. And it's making me feel a little self-conscious <laughs> in my body. <laughs> which is also a fear, which I'm also oh, eating. Man. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right. Just, you know, the holidays are coming up and there's this big demon party that everybody's supposed to go to and I just want to look my best, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's going to be a lot of desire demons there. It's just, you know... <laughs> And, you know, ever since, like, that pride demon left me, I've been a little, you know, I haven't wanted to go see anybody, and I've been eating a lot of, you know... Fear. I created a blight. I mean, I was... I've was... just been a mess, guys. <laughs> oh, I... you created a blight? That's supposed to be that other guy's deal. Well, you know, I just... I've been eating a lot of people's fear of Ben and Jerry's. It's just it's horrible. Great new flavor, though. <laughs> you will die in agony. Not really, no. Hopefully not. Probably not. I'm pretty sure I got this big glowing thing and that makes me someone important, so... Yep. Wardens caused this. A warden must. A warden must help them rebuild. That's your job. Corypheus is mine. Uh. uh... I think Hawk would want to do it. But then Fenris would be sad. So. This is the worst! Bye, Stroud! Stroud. Okay. 
Inquisitor, it has been an honor. I wonder why they're letting me choose who's the person who dies, but you know. For the water! He's dying a hero! This is what he signed up for! This is what he would want. I mean, he's gonna die in, what, like, ten years from a crazy blight and run into a dark roads. I mean, this is how it's gonna be. Yep. I love how you're like, but then Fenders would be sad, and I'm like, all right, that's it. Stroud stays. Bye, Stroud. Bye, Stroud. <laughs> it's great knowing you. We did it. Where's everybody else? She was right. Without the Nightmare to control them, the Mages are free and Corypheus loses his demon army. Though, as far as they're all concerned, the Inquisitor broke the spell with the blessing of the Maker. I'll, I'll tell, tell them the, the truth. truth. Once they understand what really happened, they'll be terrified. I, for one, am tired of giving fear demons anything to feed on. Let them have their story. Inquisitor, the Archdemon flew off as soon as you disappeared. The Venatori Magister is unconscious but alive. Cullen thought you might wish to deal with him yourself. Oh, yeah. As for the Wardens, those who weren't corrupted helped us fight the demons. We stand ready to help make up for Clorel's tragic mistake. Where is Stroud? Oh. Dead hero. Warden Stroud died striking a blow against a servant of the Blight. We will honor his sacrifice. And remember how he exemplified the ideals of the Grey Wardens. Even as Corypheus and his servants tried to destroy you all from within. Inquisitor, we have no one left of any significant rank. What do we do now? Uh, help the Inquisition? You stay and do whatever you can to help. Stroud died for the ideals of the Wardens. In war, victory. And we are still at war. Do you believe the Wardens can still help? I do, Your Worship. You're still vulnerable to Corypheus, and possibly his Venatori. But there are plenty of demons that need killing. <sighs> After all that, you give them yet another chance? While they do that, I'll inform the Wardens at Weishaupt what's happened. Best they not get caught off guard. Thank you, Your Worship. We will not fail you. Yeah, so if anybody asks you to sacrifice somebody, just don't. Good luck with your Inquisition. Try not to start an exalted march on anything. And take care of Varric for me. Aww. They're BFF. Hawk sent me one final report. She's on her way to Weishaupt. As for the Grey Wardens, they are fighting demons and Red Templars while staying clear of Venatori. You dealt Corypheus a significant blow, Inquisitor. We owe much of that to Stroud, and to the Divine. Yes. You took an army from Corypheus, but that will matter little if Orle falls into chaos. All arrangements have been made for the ball in Halam Shiral. Let us know when you are ready to proceed. Remind me what we know about the plot against Selene. The Venatori are planning some kind of attack on the Imperial Court. Corypheus may even be fueling the conflict between the Empress and her cousin, Grand Duke Gaspard. If we warn Selene, she may prove a most valuable ally against Corypheus. We have other things to do first. Yeah, let's talk to everybody. I'll go as soon as I am able. Good. Cullen, Josephine and I will discuss the best way to gain an audience with the Empress. Speak with us when you are ready. What was she like? Divine Justinia, or her soul, or the spirit that took her form. I read your report. I know it isn't clear, but... Uh... She was at peace. Yeah, let's... yeah. She seemed... calm, serene even, and she guided us the whole way through. That does sound like her. She did ask me to tell you something, though. She said, I'm sorry, 
I failed you too. Oh. I should finish this before it slips my mind. Perhaps later we might discuss the matter further. Thank you. I bet Liliana's pretty, pretty bummed that she wasn't there. She would have just been like, oh my god! And then everyone would be like, it's not really her. Just calm down, it's no, no. Stop it. Relax. Codex Entry, Tears in the Veil Studies of the Veil have never been thorough. The Tevinters once theorized that the Veil is thin in places that have seen great bloodshed. As the Chantry is so fond of reminding us, the Magisters of the Imperium only once crossed physically into the Fade, in the catastrophe that blackened the Golden City. As the story goes, the ritual consumed a vast quantity of lyrium and the blood of a hundred slaves. But was it the deaths that bridged the worlds or simply the blood in lyrium? Or both? Demons seize every opportunity, every tear in the veil, to enter our world. Once the veil is torn, it is extremely difficult to mend, some say impossible. From the Lectures of First Enchanter Wincillus. Additional note by Mari, it should be noted that Kirkwall was on top of a giant lake of blood, which is the entire reason why all the mages kept being possessed by demons, so it really it's not their fault that they're getting possessed by demons if the veil is very thin where there's lots of bloodshed because there's a giant ancient lake of blood and the whole city is in the shape of big runes for summoning demons. So maybe you shouldn't put a circle tower on top of all of that bullshit and then you wouldn't have had this huge war. The end. <laughs>